nails, hair, hips, heels, ass, fat, lips, real, purse, full, big bills, bitch, I'm a big deal, legs, legs, face, eyes, thin, waist, thick, thighs, you, me, you, wish, new phone, who, this, hey bitches it's Holland, what's good and welcome back to episode 3, for today's episode, I'll be doing a tarot card reading on Sun Wu. But before that, I'd like to share some basic facts about him so that the information from the cards makes more sense and can be put into perspective better. Sun Wu was born on December 24, 1994 in Bagu of Pusan. His sun sign is a Capricorn, meaning that he is very hardworking, ambitious, and a realist. His moon sign, which has to do with how he acts in terms of his emotions and internal desires, is a Virgo meaning that he tends to guard his emotions a lot from others, has an innate desire for perfection, and a willingness to help others before himself. Lastly his rising sign, which has to do with how he acts in terms of social interactions and his relationships with others, is a Virgo as well, meaning that he is very trustworthy, loyal, and he tends to come off as very cold when first meeting people. He originally debuted as a member of Victon in 2016 and is the leader of the group. But because their group wasn't really doing well, their company, Planet Entertainment, sent both him and Choi by Ung Tun to participate in Produce X101 to promote the group and draw a larger fan base into Victon. In the end, Sun Wu ended up winning third place as well as becoming the leader of X1. He also has a very good relationship with Yohan, Jun Oh, and Wu Ziok. Based off of this information, I'm going to assume that he wants to be in the group. But this could obviously change once I do the reading since how he acts for the Camry may differ to how he feels on the inside. Okay, so now let's get into this reading. Okay, the first card I drew was the Queen of Wands. This means that he isn't very strong or courageous and that he isn't very wise nor does he have great intuition within himself. This was pretty obvious since he once said that he thinks that he's the least talented member of the group. So, I think the main thing he needs to work on is his self-esteem and needs to know how much of a significant piece he plays as a member of X1. The second card I received was the Eight of Wands reversed meaning that either the case is moving very slowly or that he wants the decision of the disbandment of the group to be prolonged. The next card I got was the Seven of Swords reversed. This means that he doesn't feel as if he's accomplished much in the group yet, and he isn't ready for the group to disband. Then I got the Ace of Cards upright, which means that both something new is going to happen to him in the future as well as the fact that, regardless of what happens to X1, Sun Wu will be successful either as a member of X1 or Victon. The fifth card I received was the Four of Cups upright, meaning that he is trusted and respected by his fellow members and puts the needs of his members above his own. How Virgo rising that is of him lol. The sixth card I got was the Nine of Swords upright. This means that he's currently experiencing anxiety from the scandal, and he is filled with fear and doubt about whether the group will disband. The seventh card I obtained was the Three of Wands reversed meaning that he feels that he hasn't accomplished much as a part of X1 and wants the group to continue so that they can gain more success. This is probably because he thinks that if they disband too soon, he won't be able to gain enough exposure for Victon. The eighth card I gained was the Eight of Cups Upright, which means that he is currently taking a break from X1, which is common knowledge at this point since this was already publicized a month ago. I'd suggest that Sun Wu take this time in order to deeply take everything into consideration before he makes a decision he might regret. The next card I obtained was the Devil card upright. When I saw this card, I immediately gasped all the air out of my lungs. This is because the Devil represents a Capricorn and Sun Wu's zodiac sign is a Capricorn. So, for all the girls who may doubt these readings as being accurate, hopefully that convinces you of otherwise. Anyways. This card when upright means that Sun Wu will succumb to his internal desires when deciding whether or not he wants the group to disband. Then, we have the Six of Cups reversed, 
which means that he doesn't want to return back Victon at the moment and wants to stay in X1. The last card of this set I attained was the Four of Wands reversed, meaning that he isn't experiencing much peace and harmony in his life, or it could possibly mean that he's experiencing some conflict with some of his members. When it comes to this set, it provided me a lot with a lot of juicy details, mainly that he doesn't want to go back to Victon yet and wants to stay with X1, confirming that he doesn't want the group to disband, and that he'll be successful regardless of whether X1 disbands. However, I decided to continue with a second set because the only hint of there being any conflict with his members was the Four of Wands reversed. So, let's get into the second set. For the first card of this set, I received the star reversed, which means that he doesn't have much faith or hope in X1 even though he wants the group to continue. The next card I got was the Ace of Cups reversed, meaning that there will be nothing new coming up for him soon. Then I pulled the tower upright. This card means that he is currently going through a lot of chaos and confusion at the moment, but the good about this card is that this chaos isn't for no reason and has purpose to it. Sun Wu will most likely realize this later on in the future. The fourth card I pulled was the Six of Swords Upright, meaning that the best way for him to handle the situation is to take a break from the group and let the situation unfold on its own, which just reiterates what the Eight of Cups said before in the first set. The fifth card I attained was the Ten of Wands Reversed. This card, when upright, means that one has come a long way, but this journey has caused them to lose their youthful optimism they once had, and that they need to take a break to recharge themselves. But since it is reversed, it means that Sun Wu's journey has only just began and he still has a long way to go left. The sixth card I got was the Strength card reverse, which just reiterates what the Queen of Wands says about Sun Wu not having much confidence in himself. The next card I pulled was the Seven of Wands upright, meaning that he's going to face many obstacles on his path to success that the Ace of Swords prophesizes. The eighth card I attained was the Page of Pentacles, which means that Sun Wu, though he lacks self-confidence, is very reliable, loyal, and hard-working. It also means that Sun Wu may be seeing some sort of financial compensation coming his way. This is very accurate considering that it has been confirmed by CJE and M Entertainment that the members will be given financial compensation for the scandal directly affecting their reputations and careers. The ninth card I obtained was the Page of Swords reversed. This was accurate as well because the Page of Swords means someone who is inexperienced, but since it is reversed, it means that Sun Wu is experienced at being an idol, which is true since this is obviously not his first time debuting into a group. In addition, the Page of Swords reversed means that Sun Wu isn't very clever or inquisitive. The tenth card I received was the Temper and his card upright, which means Sun Wu wants the situation to flow on its own and probably doesn't even want to make a vote in the first place. The next card is the Five of Cups Upright. This means that Sun Wu, a few months from now, is going to be heartbroken about something and lose relationships with several people. The reason I say months is because, in tarot, the wands represent days, the swords represent weeks, the cups represent months, and the pentacles represent years. Anyways, this has me thinking that a few months from now, the group will probably end up disbanding, which is why Sun Wu will end up being heartbroken. Lastly, the final card from this set is the Three of Cups Upright, meaning that he actually is experiencing great harmony among his members, and that the Four of Wands reversed from earlier just means that this scandal has caused him to not feel at peace. Okay, this is the end of this reading. There are currently three votes for continuance and zero votes for disbandment. In the next episode I'll be doing the fourth place winner of Produce X101. Hi Yong Jun from Starship Entertainment. He seems like an interesting read as well because one of the eight people being charged with the manipulation is the vice president of Starship Entertainment, so I wouldn't be surprised if Hai Yong Jun was one of the trainees that was benefited since he comes from the vice president's company. Okay, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, 
comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram with the link in the description below. And remember to stay snatched. Yeah, the